Hey friend, get ready to listen in on some long form conversations and stories with people who are awakening the church for such a time as this. You'll hear from pastors, authors, advocates, and regular people just like you and me who are all part of the remnant rising to wake the church up. Hey guys, make sure to go check out Dr. Rouse in person, January 6th here in Orlando, Florida at the Neurodevelopment and Autism Disorder Summit and Expo. Go to wellnessparenting.info for more information and tickets. Hey guys, it's Brittany Jones. You might know me from the All My Favorite People podcast, but recently I started a new segment here on this channel called Behind the Berry, and it's sponsored by Modexis. Today with me, I have Chief Operating Officer of Modexis, Randy Anderson. Hey, Randy, how are you? Hi, Brittany, and thanks for having me today. I really appreciate the opportunity to have a little conversation with you. And I, like I said before we got started, I just um, um, pray that what we have to share today is going to bless somebody. It's going to find the right ears and, and make a difference. Yeah, I hope so too. And the thing that I wanted to kind of start off with, which I think that's a great way to start, is who is Randy Anderson? How are you uh, connected to Modexis and, and where did this brainchild begin? Oh, perfect, perfect. Well, thank you for that question. And by the way, guys, I don't know what these questions are. I think that's going to be the fun part of it. So we, she, I said, no, just, just bring the question. So who is Randy Anderson? Well, um, I, I hope first and foremost that, you know, I'm a, I'm a child of the almighty God and that everything I do is a blessing. I started out that way in life. I had the great fortune to, to have a family that uh, was steeped in, in, you know, in belief and faith and helped me, you know, find, go the right direction, right? And find out uh, what I was here on this earth to do. And I've been, uh, I've had the opportunity. I, I grew up in uh, the Midwest and also in the Panhandle of Florida. I won't dive too deep into that, but a couple different areas. I grew up in an agricultural uh, family. Um, that's my background. I always joke around. I'm an Indiana farm boy. And so I tend to be a little straightforward and, and hit things head on. It's the only way that I know. Um, I went on from there and had a career in agricultural sales inputs. Uh, that was about 17 years and then transitioned into some other business things, including the uh, wholesale automotive industry. But here's the neat thing. In my 20s, I was introduced actually by my parents, and I'll be forever grateful for them to the not only the well care industry, uh, but also the networking, direct sales, affiliate marketing industry. You can put whatever label you want to put on it. At the end of the day, I think it's the greatest business model on the planet because it creates uh, truly, if done right, that's the key, an even playing surface where anyone can create an additional stream of income that can certainly do a lot of things for their family at whatever level they want. And that's, I always thought that was neat because they didn't teach us that in school. They didn't teach me that in school. I, wouldn't, I didn't um, know that that was even possible. But I think more than ever today, that is really important. So when you combine well care with the opportunity to create an additional stream of income. So I'm very thankful that I was introduced to this industry early on. And I had the great fortune to be involved, not in a lot of companies, but a, a few companies along the way. And it was, you know, I think on the surface, a lot of people see all the all the stuff in the industry. You know, it's like, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna make lots of money and you know, what kind of car do you want? And let's make a hundred grand a month and you know, to have all this stuff. And again, I'm just gonna speak head on, but I mean, that's what I think a lot of people see, but really that's superficial and that's on the, on the surface. For me, I, I looked at it completely different. It was an opportunity to grow as a person. And I, I want to stress that for me personally, the personal growth side of this and the opportunity to, to connect with some amazing people in this journey now that, um, geez, it's going on 30 years, uh, that that is led to today. You know, our our steps are ordered uh, by God every day. Everything we do, I don't believe in coincidence. Everything happens on purpose. And for me, this journey uh, has led to Modexus and where we are today. But in that process, you know, if people mess things up, right? I see things along the way that it's just like, 
you know, we can do this better. We can build better products. You know, we can get away from the from the fairy dust. You know, we can we can do better there. We can truly get back to the basics of this industry and create an opportunity that's what the industry was truly meant to be in the beginning. I mean, it's it's a it is a fabulous industry if done right. And we keep the the people, superficial greed, and all that out of it. Uh, it can be a true blessing for people. Um, Brittany, you've heard me say this, and I, I say it a lot. But I, if you think back, the greatest networker that ever walked the face of the earth, and we're about to celebrate his birth. He recruited twelve people, <laughs> twelve disciples, and if you really study that, there's it kind of defines what we do in this industry. And that um, that truth was revealed to me by some, some amazing people years and years ago, and it just really resonated. So again, I knew that at some point I wanted to do things right. So, um, you know, that's, I guess I'm throwing different things at you, but that's, that's who I am and what I, what I believe in. And um, it's, I've, I've been blessed to be able to do so many things in my life, but I kept coming back to uh, the well care industry and the the affiliate direct sales industry. And I just knew that that was my calling. So there you go. That's who I am. What do you think of that? That's great. And you and like you said before, you didn't know the questions are coming, but man, you just set me right up for the next one. So good you on you. you. Speak, when, when, it, when you speak from right here and it just is what it is, then hey, that's it, throw me any question you want, we'll give it a whirl. Yeah. Well, you know, Dr. Rouse mentioned in one of the first two episodes, which if you haven't gone to see and watch those or listen to those, please do that. Um, mm -hmm. And it'll help okay. kind of guide you through this whole uh, who is Modexis and what's going on behind the berry, if you will. Um, but one of the things he talked about was this, uh, that you approached him and basically said, we have to do this with excellence. We have to have the best ingredients. We have to have these specific berries. Um, we have to go above and beyond and get all these patented ingredients and things in our product. I'm curious as to why, what was the drive behind that? And why was that so important to you? Well, I would say, why not? If you're, if you're going to do something, if you're going to invest in something and you truly you know, have set principles. Don't don't compromise on those. I mean, and, and that applies to this. I mean, if we're if I'm going to do something, I want to do it the very best of my ability, no matter what it is. Mm -hmm. And shoot, I'm human. We come up short in, in different things, but this was one area where I didn't have to compromise. You know, we could truly build a company uh that was excellent in every way. And you know, it started with um but Texas is uh, Mr. Andrew Reinhardt, our CEO, and I definitely want to include him in this conversation because he's one of the most amazing, brilliant minds in the industry. Um, but he also recognized the same thing. He grew up around the industry. He'd seen a lot of the same things that I had seen. And he just, again, believes in excellence. And he was willing to say, basically step back and say, OK, uh, we're on the same page. We're like minded on what we want to build. So just go build it. And I just, I love a green light. Yep, just give me a green light and let me go. Um, one of those relationships I spoke about earlier uh, over the years was Dr. Charlie Rouse. And there was no question in my mind who I wanted to head our product research council. You know, a very important uh, position and part of who we are. And so, you know, when you look at a company, um, leadership, you know, there's basically four pillars, leadership, product, compensation, and then culture. And, you know, we've heard it said a lot of times, everything rises and falls on leadership. And it certainly does. But I really think number four, that's the starting point is culture. You know, what kind of culture do you want to build with this company uh, called Modexus? You know, what, what do we really stand for? And uh, going on the product side of that pillar, Dr. Rouse, I know what he stands for. I mean, that was number one to me. It wasn't all his knowledge and all the things that he knows how to do with formulation and, and the, you know, the, uh, the biochemistry side of things, although it's, it's on par with the best in the world, but it started with who is Dr. Rouse, just like it started with who is Andrew Reinhardt. And I, I know where Charlie's heart is and his commitment to excellence. I made a trip down to, I think he alluded to this. And if, again, Brittany's right. If you haven't seen 
the um, you know the Dr. Rouse recordings with Behind the Berry. Go watch them. Make time. Put them in your ear. I know everyone's busy, but you know what? You can always put them in your ear and listen to them. And it's uh, it's very revealing on who we are at Modexus. Yeah. And um, I made the trip to Albany, Georgia. We sat at his kitchen table with his lovely wife Janice, and we, we had a discussion. And, and the, you know, he right up front he said, um, you know, if I if I can't do this at the highest level, then I don't want to do it. And I said, well, Charlie, I got great news for you. That's already decided. That was a 15 second answer. We believe in what you believe in. Next question, please. So that was, yeah. that's kind of how that went. And then the product side of this was was off and running. So uh, the the excellence, but see, that's part of it. was culture first. It, it's, yes. I knew that I wanted to focus on what kind of culture we were going to develop here first. And it, it also is resonates through all the people that are already here at Modexus. And if, if there's people listening that say, you know what, I really do want to be a part of something that is a safe place for me to to go, safe place for me to bring my my friends and my family and to, to build a business that's going to be here for me long term, then you know, maybe you found the right place. And I hope you'll take a closer look, whether you're going to partner up with somebody that, you know, that you know, that's already in our company or reach out to Brittany, whatever it may be, just, just take a closer look and get involved here. And I think you'll see the culture part of this and why it's so important. So um, I got off on that track. And if you need to course correct me, please do. But I just can't, I don't think we can, can talk about that message enough, you know, Yes, the products and the opportunity and all that is important, but if you got to get the culture right first. And if you get the culture right, then you're going to attract the right leadership. And at that point, people are going to want to know what you're doing from the product standpoint. They're going to be interested in how you're doing things from the compensation side of things. And which, by the way, is, is a whole nother piece of this discussion, because that was I'm a numbers person and that's part of what I do. And I wanted to create a, um, a model here that is unlike anything. We're a hybrid company. Our CEO talks about that a lot, is that we are a, definitely a hybrid opportunity. And if you want to try to put us in a box and we're like this or that, you're really missing the bigger picture here. Take a closer look because we're a hybrid opportunity. There's something here for everyone. And it's, I mean, it's a level playing surface. So, all right, next question, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to get off the rail real quick here. We're going to come back to the compensation piece because it is okay. absolutely on my list of things to talk about. But I'm kind, I'm curious more uh, if we can backtrack a little about the berry specifically. Did you, were you the one that kind of stumbled on that or uh, was that Andrew? How did that, how, why was it so important to have those two and, and where did that come from? Yeah, I was heavily involved in that, but that was a but the truth of the matter. That was a combination of a lot of minds coming together, different ideas that were, you know, behind the scenes, people that um, where we discovered the 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 super fruit called the Lana Sarah berry. I mean, I'll be honest, I didn't, when I first heard about that, I had no clue what it was, but yeah. I couldn't help but dig deeper and dig deeper. And of course, take it to Dr. Rouse. Uh, Andrew was involved in that process too. There's some pretty funny stories about that. Uh, I think buckets of uh, berries showing up at his, uh, his home and in his garage and he's, He's doing all kinds of things. Um, you know, anyway, it was it was pretty funny. Uh, some hey, of the Randy, real that. real quick, I think I lost. Oh, I lost your video yeah, there. Yeah, just clicked it back on. A little technical. Okay, gremlin okay, we're there. good. <laughs> Whenever you have a great message to share, the gremlins show up, and that's okay because we already got them beat. Already got them beat. So anyway, video is yeah. back, and but there's a lot of lot of that story. Um, you know, Andrew was involved in that. I was involved in that. Doctor Rouse, of course, got involved and brought the science side into. Uh, you know, the discovery of the Lana Sarah Berry. And to this day, we're in our fourth year and we are still the only company in the world bringing a suite of holistic naturals to the industry, uh, to the world, uh, featuring this, uh, this powerhouse. And look, don't take our word for it. I, I tell people this all the time. Go do your own research. Go to PubMed.gov. Go look at some of the university. I mean, there are just scads of university stories uh, studies and stories and things that have been done uh, featuring the Lana Sarah Carolea berry. And it's, um, I said, I've got a screenshot on my phone that I saved because it was, this fruit has been around uh, for a long time with some of the Northern people, especially uh, comes to mind as the Anu people in Northern Japan. They've been using, uh, they call it the Haskap. So it's a different name that they use, but it's, 
defined as the fruit of longevity. Mm. So our flagship product is named longevity. So that's where that came from. Nice. That's awesome. yeah. I love a good backstory. So thank you for diving in there with me. Um, but on to the other piece of it that you are so incredibly passionate about, which is our affiliate program and our compensation plan, like you alluded to just a minute ago, it really is unlike anything else in the industry. I was wondering if you would be so kind as to share with us what makes Modexis different in that way and what is so special about what we're doing. Well, one thing that is right up front clear. I wanted to build a compensation model where we eliminate as many, if not all, of the hoops to jump through as we possibly could. In other words, if you bring someone to our company, I want to make sure that our people are getting compensated or being compensated on every single dollar that they bring to the company. And that is a fact here at Modexus, whether you are maybe your customer focus. Some people are, you know, just, and we put a high emphasis on customer acquisition, you know, being very customer focused, because I firmly believe that if you build a strong customer base, then the right people that need and want to build an additional income stream are going to come out of your customer base. It's going to happen naturally. I think most companies are driving the other way. It's business first, business, business, business. But see, that usually is led by the leadership where it, it's all about them. And I see so many compensations models that it's, um, I mean, you might as well go buy a lottery ticket. You really might as well. It'd be a lot easier hmm. uh, and a lot less headache. Just go buy a lottery ticket because that's the way a lot of plans are set up. There's so many hoops and qualifications and different things that you have to jump through to be able to get compensated. And that's done a lot of damage to our industry. And it doesn't create a level playing surface. And then it just ends up being um, an opportunity for a select few. Now, I'm not saying that it's, you know, if if you want to make more, if you want to build a bigger business, then you need to do more. Uh, It's, you know, it, it just is what it is. That's a fact in, in anything. Sure. But for the person that says, look, I just want to gather some customers. I just want to build enough income where I can, maybe I can pay for my products. And maybe uh, I'm able to offset a car payment, or maybe I'm able to um, pay the power bill. I mean, I, some of the stories that I get, and that's one of the blessings of sitting in the chair I sit in, is hearing the stories. And it's not just product stories it's the um it's a lady earlier this month it's christmas time right and it's it's a can be an economically challenging time for a lot of families especially in these times and then she called me she said i just want to share a story my power bill was 45 dollars. it was just 45 dollars. and brenny i'm sorry i don't know why that keeps turning off but anyway back on i'll watch it um 45 dollars was her power bill and it's a lot of people say, you know, that they just don't even pay attention. They can't understand the power of this. But there's more and more people today that are in that situation where she didn't know where that $45 was coming from. But she's involved here in Modexis and gathering a few customers here and there where she can. And her weekly check showed up and it was $47. Hmm. Now, a lot of people in, in the in different companies, I mean, they, they won't tell those stories. They want to talk about the, the big stories. But I think if we tell the small stories, then it will create the big stories. And I mean, she was in tears. She said that was the biggest blessing I could have ever received. And it that showed me the power of what we have. And why aren't we telling those stories more? Right. It, it yeah. It's real. It makes it real for more people. And, you know, as we grow, Brittany, we're getting more and more stories like that. The uh, the, the gentleman the other day that shared with me said, you know what, my Dex, I'm making more with this company than I've made with every, any other company I've been involved with over the last 25 years. Wow. Said, the last month I made enough. I paid my, my car payment, my insurance payment, all that was taken care of. And what a relief and what a blessing that is for something that I put a minimal amount of time into, you know, every week, every month. So, you know, that's the type of compensation model that I wanted to build 
here at Modexas that truly eliminates all the hoops and all the all the hurdles that people have to go around with. This is not a Ken and Barbie show, Brittany. This is a an opportunity, and I get picked on for saying that, but I again that's the Indiana <laughs> farm boy coming out. We're we're not that. We are not that. We are building an opportunity that is going to bless people from all walks of life and is something that is doable for anyone because you get paid on everything you bring to this company. So how much longer you want me to go on this? Because I can just keep driving this. this <laughs> I'm passionate about this. I'm excited yeah. about this. Uh, we have the complete package here. By the way, on the products, we did, we have the same philosophy on our products, Brittany. We don't cut any corners. We're not going to... to um, you know, you know, create any any hurdles or any hoops to jump through as far as as, as our products. Um, we just don't cheat. Period. We just we just don't cheat on the quality of our products in any way. Um, Rhythm is a is a fairly new product. I know it's one that you really like. Um, you know, I had a manufacturer. We use gel caps, so we want to make sure that you know again that we're using veggie gel caps not regular gel, that everything is is as clean as it possibly can be. But, you know, somebody suggests, well, why don't you use pink capsules for the rhythm? It'd been great marketing. And, you know, a lot of people would have done that. But the gel cap manufacturer could not show me that there were no dyes or artificials or anything used in the coloring of the gel cap. So the answer is no. And that's just an example at the, at the high level, the amount of scrutiny that we put into everything we do from our products uh, to the smart pay system, to the culture we're building, just all the way through. So there you go. That may have been more of me wanted to know, but just some examples. That was perfect. No, that was great. And, you know, going back to the compensation piece, I personally prefer to hear those smaller stories, if you will, because, you know, you and I had a chance to talk about it week a couple of weeks ago. But, you know, I've done many multi-level marketing, in-home, home base, whatever you want to call it. I've done several of them. The biggest difference for me, and, and you, you hit the nail on the head when you said it, um, was that I did more, I more so did those because I was like, oh, you know, I use it. I might as well. This was the first time that I ever truly believed in the product, used it regularly, used it for a while before deciding I was going to jump into the business part of it. I really came into it as a customer with no intention, to be honest, of selling it. Mm -hmm. And because it made so much sense for me to tell people about it because it was working so well for our family, it's like, well, you could be compensated for people, for just telling people, for just sharing. And um, I I do love my Friday you know, text message that I get that says, Hey, you've got money in your account. That's always a fun one. Um, and even if it's like you said, even if it's a smaller amount, um, I'll tell you, you know, as having been in some of these bigger companies before, uh, the $10,000 month girl or the hundred thousand dollar month girl, like I'm proud of her and, and go, you know, uh, and that was seemed so out of the realm of possibility for me and out of reach um, that that almost deterred me from, you know, getting into that hustle mode. I'm a mom. I'm a busy mom. I've got other things going on. And to be in, you know, full blown hustle mode to to have that pressure of achieving that um, that didn't that didn't appeal to me. But being able to just share something that my family already uses and loves and there be compensation on the back end for that was a no brainer. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy to hear that because I, I think it's, and again, you're, you're right. We, we have bigger stories here and we do recognize those stories and we do yes. celebrate those stories for people, but, but we also want to make sure we keep it real and you, you're right. I would say, and, we, and I've looked at studies and, done our research on this too but i would say that probably nine out of ten people those type of things don't resonate at at all they don't feel like they can achieve that um and that's you know if we again if we start with building a strong customer base and then teaching and training out of the customer base and sharing that there's an opportunity there then it grows and it grows at the level that that applies to that individual at that time in their life you know life's about seasons and it's yeah. you know, it's it's just amazing to see that process 
happen. You know, at a at a fifty thousand foot level, I can then I can see how that starts bubbling up and that process works. It, it's a, a longer build. It's a more organic build, but it, it definitely works. Um, I want to say something too that just a, a thought here that I want to get um, out to people that I think will really resonate. I was talking to another one of our, our founders uh, this morning as well about this and our products. You know, we talk about uh, the quality of products we build and why the question was asked to me, well, why did we choose uh, an affiliate? I mean, we're more of a hybrid opportunity. So we're more of an affiliate opportunity with uh, direct sales and, and MLM or networking, whatever you want to call it. It's all the same uh, on the back end that's available for people. Why did we choose that to distribute our products? I mean, why don't we just take our products to XYZ box store? And the, and the answer is this, because you can't build the quality and the level of products, the high-end products that we're building and keep them affordable for the average family if you go that route. Because the first thing that they want to do, and I've had this happen many times over the years, I've seen this happen many times over the years, first thing they want to do is cheapen the product. Behind the scenes, well, you know what, we don't need to use this patented ingredient, we'll, we'll just replace it with, with this. And they want to immediately start chopping away at the quality of the product because it's all about the bottom line. Right. This way... Through this distribution system, not only does it bless more people, more areas, and quicker, but it also allows us to keep the integrity of our, our culture, again, and, and what we believe in, keep the integrity of our products, uh, but also our distribution system. We can stay in charge and deliver what we believe in and truly deliver the very best time in, you know, time and time again, without question. Uh, if we went a different direction. We couldn't do that because it's all about the bottom line. Yeah. And that makes so much sense because the products, uh, I personally think for what you get, the cost is, you know, I know that you guys have made it as affordable as possible for people to get the quality of ingredients that we're getting. Um, and so if people kind of maybe bulk at the prices a little bit, you know, my, my thing is like, well, yeah, you can take some cheap ibuprofen uh, and, and you're going to, your body's going to respond to it in a way that isn't at all the same as it would to a quality product, like a relief. Um, and so just thinking about, you know, short-term versus long-term on things like that. Um, and, you know, are you, the thing that I've kind of realized and that I'm asking myself and my friends, my customers is, are you worth it? Do you think you're worth it? And, you know, I know for my family, it was a bit of a stretch at the beginning to, to purchase a product that may be a little bit more expensive than others. But at the end of the day, we got the results we were looking for. And yeah. I feel like my family is worth giving the purest, best, you know, excellent ingredients to. You are worth it, Brittany. And your family's <laughs> worth it. We're, we're all worth it. I'll, I'll tell you yeah. the secret, guys. I mean, I... I buy my products, my personal use products for myself and my family. I buy my products just like you do. And, and people will say, well, why do you do that? You don't need to do that. I want to do that because I want to stay connected to the experience that you're having. I use all these products too. I use these products every single day. They're tools in my toolbox. And you would, you would not um, believe how many people... That I'm not going to name names. Don't want to get in trouble here, but it's it's how many people I know in the industry that run companies or they develop products and they don't use their own products. I don't understand that. I've never understood that. I am not going to ask you to do anything that I'm not going to do that isn't good enough for me. And I'm going to tell you what the first thing I do when I want to know what I need to be doing, whether it's our products or maybe we're looking at a new product development, is I go to Dr. Rouse, I go to Dr. Hackett, and other experts, but I, I rely heavily on on them. Um, what are you doing? You know what what are you I, with Dr. Rouse? I mean, that's I, that's my go to. What are you doing, Dr. Charlie? It better yet, I look and see what he's asking his wife Janice to do because I know he loves her dearly, and I know whatever she's doing is definitely stamped with approval and good. So it's we practice what we preach. We use our products. I buy my own products and use them every day. I want to stay in touch with every aspect, not just the products themselves, but the cost factor. This 
how does it feel uh, to purchase Modexis products? So I think that's important that we stay grounded and stay in touch. We can never forget where we came from. We can never forget the lessons we learned along the way on our journey. Um, we're not perfect here, but we are working to hit that mark every single day. I can promise you that. Yes. Well, I've had such a great experience just using the products for many years now and more recently kind of coming in as an affiliate and really giving it my all, giving it a shot, sharing my story and sharing the product. So um, I obviously appreciate that opportunity and this opportunity. But the last thing I've got before we go, and we can be we could try to be brief on this. You you take it if you need to run with it. But um, I'm curious. Uh, I feel like people might say, I've never heard of Modexis. Mm -hmm. And I think they don't realize that we are so new. Um, can you talk a little bit about maybe become what we'd like to see in becoming a household name and becoming a name that uh, is said right alongside some of these like household known MLMs, if you will? Yeah. So when you when you're doing things the way we're doing it, mean, we're correcting a lot of the wrongs in the industry. So I think when you you know to say that you've got to, uh, I think people would understand if I say we're we're rowing, you know, paddling upstream, rowing or paddling upstream. You know, we're we're bucking the trend a little bit, but it's it, that's fine because we're going to stay on that path. It's kind of like making a snowball when you first make a snowball. It takes forever because it's little, but you keep rolling that snowball, and eventually it just starts gaining momentum. And we will gain that momentum if we stay true to who we are. We stay true to the culture that we're building, and we just have to let our light shine. It's so important. Whether uh, you know, and we tell our advocates this a lot. Uh, it's just, you know, let your light shine, make sure you're telling your story. Stories are what is going to grow our company. People experiencing, you know, if you, if you haven't heard of Modexis, you know, get a hold of an advocate. You can reach out to Brittany. You can reach out to us directly at corporate. Let's get you connected to somebody and just become a customer initially. You know, you discover for yourself. Use use the products, build your own product story. Brittany, you did that for almost yes. a year. I mean, it was it was it was a time process for you, and timing is is everything. But you you stayed consistent, building your own story. And as you're going along and say, you know what, I do want to do more with this, then use all the other stories that are available in our online communities. But we're going to stay true to who we are, to the business model we've chosen, to how we do things from a culture standpoint, product standpoint, the business model standpoint. And it is going to find the momentum and you're going to see some explosive growth with this company. I have no doubt. Um, look, the, uh, the proof is in the results that we're getting. Our retention numbers are way above the industry average. Uh, one of the things I absolutely love is because, you know, there's always, it's just a fact of life. People are coming, people are staying, some are going. The object is that more are staying or not. But here's the fun thing at Modex is you wouldn't believe how many people that say, you know what, I love, I use the products. I'm not sure they go away from them for a while. Then I get the message. Oh, I didn't realize until I didn't have these formulations or you know, I missed the community or I missed the, you know, the fun with the, with the group. I just didn't realize what I had until I didn't have it. But that's, that's true in most things in life, right? Yeah. But we see that at a very high level here. So it's just a matter of time and just sharing the story. And Brittany, I want to thank you for teaming up with us. You are very talented at telling the story and you're doing a great job of it. We are so blessed uh, that you said yes to Modexus. We appreciate what you're doing with Behind the Berry and just helping us get the word out. It's just, look, the, the, these guys over here at Modexus are different. They're, they're different. I, I need to check this opportunity out. Yeah. And the rest will take care of itself from there, I'm quite sure. Yes. Well, I think if people know me personally, they know that I'm a swim upstream kind of person and uh, take take the route uh, less traveled, if you will. And uh, and. In that sense, it feels really good to be partnering with a company that is like, we're not going to just be the status quo. We're going to elevate what we think we can do and, and try to show up and, and do our best. So um, it's a great match. And uh, like I said, it, it all stemmed from 
falling in love with the products. And um, so thank you for the opportunity. I'm excited, you guys. We're going to be telling more of these stories here on this segment. So uh, I know some of you know, know my story, and I've shared it a little over the last couple episodes, but uh, we're going to dive into some of our other affiliates and their stories um, with their children, with their loved ones, with themselves and the things that they've seen, um, just the benefits that they've seen to all of these products. And I'm really excited for you guys to uh, get to experience those stories as well. So thank you, Randy, so much for your time today. Merry Christmas to you all. And um, I'll see you on the next episode. Thank you, Brittany. Thank you, everyone, for listening. And Merry Christmas. Hey, guys, it's Brittany. Make sure to go visit modexus.com. That's M-O-D-E-X-U-S dot com to connect with an advocate for Modexus in your area. I'd also love it if you would like and subscribe to this channel as well as the Modexus channel. And be sure to hit the little notification bell so you know every time we post something new. We're going to be doing giveaways on every single episode. So if you are following my channel and the Modexus channel and you leave a comment on this video, we're going to choose one winner to win a really cool, cool gift. I hope it's you. I will make your name famous from now on so people will praise you forever and ever. Psalm 45, 17. If you liked today's episode and want more info, check out lifejesusstyle.com and hashtag lifejesusstyle on social media.